A lot of our patients want to know what it's like to remove a drain and the steps that we take to remove drains. We have our lovely patient. She has her drain in here that was placed during surgery. You can see she's got almost nothing in the drain. It's pretty much empty. She's been doing a great job. She's been keeping track of how much is coming out of the drain. And that's the information that we need in order to pull the drain out. So when you open these drains, you release the suction and you want to make sure that you have less than 25 milliliters in 20 24 hours. As long as you have less than that amount, then you can go ahead and remove the drain. We like to remove the drains on suction, so it pulls all of the liquid out on the way out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this little stitch that's holding it to the skin. So we'll just use any type of sharp, either a blade or we'll use a scissor, and we're gonna cut this little stitch right here. And that's it, we've basically released the drain. So now the drain is completely free, and on the count of three, we're gonna ask her to take a big deep breath, and we're gonna pull it out. So one, two, three, big breath. Good. All right, so that's it. This drain is out. We're gonna put a little bit of antibiotic ointment on the little hole here, and we'll just massage that in. You don't have to put in antibiotic ointment every day, but maybe just the first day you wanna put it a little bit twice a day. And then we're gonna put a little gauze bandage for her, and that's gonna basically help with any little bit of leakage that she's gonna have over the next two to three days. She should expect this little hole to close in about two to three days. Meanwhile, get as many massages as you can to help get that liquid out and give you the best results.